Hey there, Sagittarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. This is a general message, so take it if it resonates. And if you want to take it, leave it if uh, you don't like it or it doesn't resonate. Go ahead and try another reading if you feel like it. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot today. I hope you guys are all doing amazing, by the way. A lot of the signs have been pretty intense today. Uh, there's a lot of work and a lot of truth coming out in the readings. So let's get into it. You guys, your first card out is the Ten of Wands. For some of you, I feel like you're only taking with you what you need to. I feel like you just cleaned house. Some of you are packing up and leaving, all right? And that can be metaphorical, physical, emotional, I'm definitely getting relationships. It's essentially like you're cleaning out your friends list. That's what I'm, I'm feeling with this. For some of you, you might still be carrying some baggage that you don't need. But I feel like it's so municipal because you've already let go of so much that like you're good for a minute. You know what I mean? You've let go of so much that you need to adjust. And once you've leveled out, once you've um, acquired the stability that your new energy is going to require, then you can take a look around and get rid of the last couple things that are left. And it's going to be like, oh, well, yeah, that can go too. It's going to be really easy for you to do it. And it's not... In the grand scheme of things, if you are carrying just that little bit of extra, it's not actually affecting you. Not really. Not really. Because of how much you just got rid of, it was a lot. You need to readjust after all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, seven of swords. A lot of you guys are moving in silence right now, or you just need some time to yourself behind the scenes. Because look, you let go of all that. And now you're only carrying with you what you actually need. I think the divine told on somebody, right? There's the sun shining. I told you, there's a lot of things coming to light right now. There's truths coming out. There's a truth that came out, guys. You're packing up and leaving. You're like, well, on that note... <laughs> Let me just let myself out. <laughs> you know? Ten of wands. Eight of wands, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm hearing the song I'm Moving On by Rascal Flats. The last I can get love is There's no guarantees, but I'm not alone. There comes a time in everyone's life. Yeah, man, y'all are just as deep in this energy as everybody else. That's why I was like, just so you know, <laughs> it's probably going to come up. And then it does. But you're moving on. Legit, you are moving on and you're only taking with you what you need. And if there's a couple of extra things that you got, like I said, it, it's not even, it's nothing. It's nothing. Compared to what you just got rid of, don't even worry about that right now. Don't even worry about that. Just worry about getting to where it is you need to go and then just kind of sitting with yourself and letting this all sink in. It feels very recent for some of you. This hasn't happened yet. It's about to. Yes, dude, I can't even make this shit up. Sit with yourself and let it all sink in. The Hermit card. I'm moving on. Oh, yeah. Wow, 8, 9, 10. It's funny because it's, it's 10, 8. And then nine. So two steps forward. No, I'm sorry. Two steps backwards for one step forward. Like you're, you're gonna, you let go of a lot or you're about to, 
whatever truth is revealed, it's really making you go within. Some of you guys might question, why did I trust that person? Why did I... Intuitively, what I'm feeling for most of you, you have trusted people with this in the past, except you let it go on much longer. But this time, you're not. This time, when the truth comes out and Ish hits the ceiling fan, you're packing up and you're leaving. You're not going to sit around and wait for things to turn around and try to work on things and heal somebody and, and you're just gone. Done. I can see this is not working. I will let myself out. Some of you might actually be packing your things and moving out of a house. Some of you are going to be happier living in your fucking car for a couple of days than staying another night in that house. I don't know who or what is going on in that house. But it's got to be pretty freaking bad for you to be happier in your car or at a hotel. Some of you might also have a pet that you're taking with you. This is your spirit animal. That's why they're with you throughout this process. So you have someone to talk to. So when you're sitting in your car at the beach or wherever it is you're parked up at and you're thinking about things and you're just like, wow, wow. And you're crying and you're coming to accept what is instead of what you thought was. This pet is going to climb up in your lap and you're going to know that everything's okay because you are supported. And no matter what happened in that house and how those people think about you and their opinions of you, you are still loved. Someone needs you. That's not for everybody, but somebody here is going to have a pet. I don't think it's a child. I think it's a pet, like a cat or a dog. I don't know. Maybe it's a bird, a snake, a mouse. Um, there's a lot of different animals, a lizard that can be a spirit animal. Basically, all of them can be a spirit animal. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They still love you. And this, that. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. Cups. I just refilled my coffee. Let me have a sip. Cheers, by the way. Because I know this ain't easy. This is hard. This is hard. And I feel like, honestly, Sagittarius, I feel like you doing this You are inspiring me right now, big time. Because I usually wait longer than this before I walk away. See, this is reciprocal right now. I might be reading for you and connecting with you in a way that's gonna help you. But seeing this, you are helping me right now in a way that you don't even know. And it's, it's okay. It's totally okay because I'm helping you even though we may never meet. I may never know. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Yeah, tower. <clears throat> and the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes. What's with all the country? <laughs> It is. It's a lot of country music. But you know what? This is a lot of country and earth energy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boom. Somebody listens to Ludacris a lot. I love it. I'm coming for that number one spot. Oh, my gosh. That was one of my favorite. Yo, that song got me through a lot in my childhood. I can't even make that up. Don't pimp up or back down. Say what? I'm coming for that number one spot. You're not giving up hope at all. And there's that pet. See what I mean? There's that pet that's with you.
some of you guys, this might feel like really all of a sudden, some of you are almost like, I'm, it's wild because now the Ace of Cups is normally the water signs, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But what I'm seeing right now is the water bearer. That's Aquarius energy. I feel like whatever pops off at this house, it, I don't think it's a job. Maybe it is. You can, you can translate that this is, you know, work or anything, anything, anything. Um, I'm really feeling house though. <clears throat> so anyways, whatever pops up at that house, it's almost like you go numb. Zombie. And you're just like. Calmly pack all your things, load up your car, grab your pet, and go. You're not in your emotions. You are removing the emotions to do what you need to do. To take the action necessary, which is pack your shit and go. And then when you get to where you can sit with yourself, then you address the emotions. And this isn't one of those, I am not going to let them see how upset I am. I'm not going to cry in front of them. They're, they're never going to see a tear that I shed. It's not that. It's not that at all. Not even a little bit. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. It's the fact that I want to say you don't deserve it. I also want to say you're better than that. And you're not going to tell them. You're going to show them. So you don't need to talk to this person. You don't need to put on the emotions or, or updo the theatrics, right? You just need to pack your shit and go until you can sit with yourself and then deal with your emotions. I feel like this is happening so fast, like within an hour. Some of you guys are going to have all your stuff packed and your car is going down the road within 10, 15, 20 minutes of the ish popping off. There is somewhere you can go. There is someone you can talk to. I feel like they might be a little shocked and surprised because you guys probably haven't talked to each other in a while. But it's a safe place. This is a safe person. Hole in the wall. Oh, wow. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Who is this for? Sagittarius? I'll have to remember that. I used to say, welcome to my little hole in the wall. <laughs> when I was talking, you know, when people would come over to my house for the first time, I'd say, hey, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Welcome to my little hole in the wall. And everybody would be like, yeah, this is like a safe place to go whenever we just need to get away from the world. This is where we go. That's just part of me being a light worker. That, that's part of how people feel about me, I guess. Um, but yeah. Hole in the wall. Oh, that could actually be somebody gets angry. They get, um, not you, but this person. They're so angry that they actually like put a hole in the wall. This person could be physically abusive, not just verbally, emotionally, mentally, or what's the other one? Whatever the other one is. Yeah, because that's too many wands. Ten and eight. That's too many wands. That's too much action. Somebody's extra. Somebody's doing too much. Somebody has more fire than they know how to handle. Someone's angry. And I think you've tried to calm them down. But that process has basically gotten you to become numb. Like... If it's not this person specifically, it's other people from the past where you just have no tolerance for this shit anymore. And you are not going to fight fire with fire, most likely because you've tried in the past. And that's just an explosion that nobody needs to deal with. You know what I mean?
Yeah, this definitely could have been a love bombing situation and you're seeing the flags. And as soon as that flag pops up, you're gone. You are definitely spending some time thinking to yourself before you approach this person, though. Could be a Libra. We have Scorpio and Virgo out here as well. And I'm definitely getting Aquarius with the, with the water bearer here. It could be one of the other water signs. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm really, really getting water bearer Aquarius. I've never gotten that with the Ace of Cups before. That is definitely a first for me. But for some of you guys, as soon as this person pops off, you just pack your things and go. That's a first for you. It's probably a first for them too. People probably put up with it but you're not going to, because you've done it before. Um, I'm actually, I can't, I can't stop staring at this Queen of Swords. I'm hearing, I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. Ooh, I'm gonna stop right there because I bombed that. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> Most of the other signs had me crying, so forgive the the red, the puffy, the sniffle, the <clears throat> constant clearing my throat now. Yeah, the full card. You're done. You're done. You're like, I just zero. I have zero fucks left to give for this kind of shit. That's what it is. It is a big, fat, steamy pile of bullshit. You're calling someone out on their shit. Oh, I said bullshit. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, yeah, nine of pentacles. Zero. Done. Wiping the slate clean. Fresh start. Getting the fuck out of Dodge. Claiming your independence. Some of you guys are going to be single. If this is your partner, you're like, I would so much rather be single and have to do this on my own, even if it means living in my fucking car, than dealing with your ass. We don't have to do name calling, guys. I almost, I almost, yeah. King of Wands and the Sun card. You see how fucking toxic angry somebody is. Devil. Capricorn, Leo, Leo. Oh, that's interesting. You see just how toxic and karmic somebody is. Yeah, and they're angry. AF. There is nothing you can do for them. They have to choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice just as much as misery, as anger, as rage, as peace and serenity. It's all a choice. What do you choose? When you wake up in the morning, if you stub your toe, do you choose to have a shit day after that and then pay attention to all the shit things? Or are you going to choose, I'm glad I got that out of the way. I'm about to have a good day and then pay attention to all the good things that happen. It's a fucking choice. They made theirs, and now you are making yours. I keep doing this today. Like, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's... It is what it is. You know? And if, it's, if it doesn't vibe with you, if it's not something you're down with, then you're out. They made their choice, and now you're making yours. I'm not really sure what else to say, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave this here. Oh, 19 minutes in. Yeah, we're just going to leave this here. Um, I do hope this message resonates with who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys so freaking much. I love you guys so much. And you just inspired me so much. So much. I will see you guys soon. Until then, like, share, subscribe. Whoever's eating that Chinese, please enjoy it because I can almost taste it. And it's making my mouth water. And I love Chinese. So enjoy that for the both of us. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Stay beautiful and namaste.